Hello, Reborn Mommies and Daddies. It's been a couple of days since we've been on, and we've been quite the busy bees. I hope everybody had a wonderful 4th of July weekend first off. Uh, I know I had a fantastic one. I was able to go see fireworks. It didn't rain that night, and it was actually quite beautiful. Um, not that muggy, and there was a nice breeze in the air and we took a lot of cold drinks and got snow cones and it was a lot of fun. Now Aliana did stay home because it just wasn't the right place for little ones but um, all in all she had a great time too. And then over this weekend we had Jarrett's mother and our sister-in-law and nephew come and visit us and they just left this morning and I'm a little sad because I do miss them. Um, but I'm very happy that they were able to visit and we had a good time and we went to a bunch of different shopping stores and uh, we went to the outlet mall. Uh, we have an outlet mall here in Arizona that's actually indoors and uh, they have a huge aquatic center and it's full of beautiful fish and the aquariums are just gorgeous. It opened up I think a couple years ago. And actually, me and Jarrett have not been able to get a chance to go, so we decided to go when they were here, and it was really fun. And we've seen sea turtles and seahorses and jellyfish and big puffer fish. It was really cute. And um, I did introduce my sweetheart here to my sister-in-law and to her grandma, and they loved her. And my nephew, Nathan, who is four years old was absolutely smitten with her and I'm talking about wanted to feed her wanted to hold her um, he's expecting a little sister in February so it was good training for him and he just loved her and he was so gentle with her and you're talking about a pretty rambunctious four-year-old boy who loves dirt and cars and scooters and as soon as he went by her it was like everything was calm and he was just treating her so soft and putting her loving next to her he wanted her out in the living room with us and he's like it's time to feed baby it's time to feed baby and he would grab her bottle and feed her of course I'm there all the time with her with him to make sure that nothing you know would happen but he was so gentle and and when he did hold her, he was laying on the bed, and I placed her on top of his lap, and he supported her head, and it was just so wonderful to see him love her so much. And his mother thought it was so adorable, and she likes the Reborns. She doesn't think they're creepy, um, and she thought it was a good learning lesson for him, too, and she'd never seen him interact with a baby before. So uh, then we went to Joanne's later in the afternoon and he wanted me to take Aliana with us, and which I did. And that was fun and he kept checking on her in the cart, looking at her, saying, a baby okay? Is baby okay? I'm like, yeah, baby's okay. <laughs> so I had a really good time. And I changed Aliana yesterday into her outfit from her Auntie Pooh Bear. And I want to say, Rwanda, thank you again for sending me such an adorable little outfit. It's so precious. I enjoy it very, very much. And it, it's just, it just screams, Aliana. And let me take you off the tripod so you guys can get a better look. So you're going to be a little shaky for a second. But here is this precious little dress. And it says... Let's pick flowers. And there's a bunny right there. And a bunny right here. And the bunny has a striped um, little belly. It's so cute because the inside is striped and it's lined. And I love that. And um, we put her patent little pale pink shoes on. Nathan picked these out. He's like, I think she should wear these. And I'm like, okay. And she has her pale pink striped onesie on. This is by Carter's. And I forgot I had bought the three pack and it matched perfectly. And it's trimmed in a little bit darker pink. And she has this headband on right here. And then she is wearing her Nook 
pacifier that is pale pink and it has a B on there. Now I just bought these at Once Upon a Child because I took my sister-in-law over there. She doesn't have a Once Upon a Child near her and she wanted to check it out and lo and behold they had the Nook Busy Bee little pacifiers and there is the other pale pink one and it has a darker shade of outline on the bee and it has a snail and then flower, some flower on the side where this one doesn't have any design on the outside and it fits her face pretty good um, she takes a modified pacifier so it is modified in her mouth um, she does have poofy cheeks so it's in there but like if I was to move her around, it would come off. It would definitely come off. So, But I am happy to have found those. I absolutely adore them. I love the pale pink ladies. You all know that. Um, she has her scratch mittens on because this is from when we went to Joanne's uh, craft store. So I wanted to, you know, protect her little hands. And she's got her little bunny. So yeah, that was a really good find. And I paid three fifty for these, so I was happy to find them. They were brand new. I I opened the package. Um, they are by Gerber. So it's a Gerber design, but a Nook brand, I guess. I guess they hooked up, teamed teamed up together. Um, I'm trying to see what year. If there is a year on here, I'm gonna have to check. I'll look in a minute but anyway I wanted to show you what else I got I got one more item at once upon a child and I wasn't going in there really looking for her um, but I walked by and it just popped out I didn't even have to look for it and that's when I know it's meant to be and it is this dress right here it has princess crowns all over it. It is in pink and brown. It has a bow in the center and this beautiful cardigan that covers it because it is sleeveless. And this is the back. And it is lined with tooling galore with silk and it is a gorgeous dress and I paid eight dollars for this and this is the brand focus camera that is the brand and I absolutely love it and I think it's going to look absolutely gorgeous on Aliana and those are the two things that we got at Once Upon a Child now I went to the armadillo with my family when they were here and took them to go look at antiques and I've been eyeing this little vintage baby blanket for a while and it's pale pink with white and they were having 15% off so I thought this is a great chance to buy it and it has two bunnies Looks like they're playing Ring Around the Rosies, or they're just holding hands. But it, they are pale pink colors, pastel, pastel colors with the boy, baby blue. And here's the girl with her blue and yellow dress. And they have tulips down here. And her dress has these little tiny little white flowers. I know it's hard to see. Um, but... It was adorable. There's a tulip up here. And I just adore it. I think it is the most precious little blanket. And I got 15% off, so I paid $4. And I love it. Absolutely love it. It's very thin and perfect for summer. Absolutely perfect for summer. It's very thin. And I love the um, trim around the edges really gorgeous so these are the two items or I should say three items that I bought this weekend 
Um. <laughs> oh, did you lose your headband? Yes, you did. She lost it. There we go. But yeah, that is our haul, ladies. And I also want to let you know, Eliana got her new body from Lori. And I love it. It fits so much better. It just feels better. Um, the quality is, is just, you know, awesome. So thank you, Lori, for making such a beautiful body. And I appreciate always working with you. You're awesome. And thank you for your service out there and making these reborn doll bodies. Because I know Shell does not make them anymore. Um, so Lori has all her patterns and makes them for us, us mommy who needs them. All right, ladies, have a great day and we'll be talking to you soon. Hugs and loves from us. Bye guys.